What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my great videos. So I got a lot of questions about my hair color with the long key hair. So I'm just going to show you how I bleached the knots and also color the bundles. So first thing I like to do is start off with clips so I can clip up the frontal. As I mentioned in my last video, I do not want any hairs to get in that bleach because you don't want to bleach the hairs. So you can take any little clips, just make sure that they're out of the way. Won't mess up any of your other bowls or anything. So I'm just going to measure out the powder. Um, like I stated, you want your powder or this consistency to be thick. So I'm going to take more um, bleaching powder than I will developer. Um, I'm going to take about three scoops here. And then if I need to, I will add how much you want it to live. And I'm also going to be using this... Uh, what is, I don't even know what this is called. I think it's like a little applicator. I don't know. But I'm going to be using this to actually uh, mix and uh, mix the mixture and then also apply it on my frontal. Um, this is my first time bleaching a frontal, so please bear with me. I feel that I did a very good job my first time, so that's why I'm putting this video up just to show y'all how I did it. Um, but I find that I like using a knife better because it just glides on the frontal. Yeah. If it's too thin or whatever the case may be, then you need to add some more powder to it. But that's just going to be the test. Make sure it's not going to seep through your frontal. As we are closer to the end, I mean, this took forever for me. I was like trying to be so careful with it. But now I'm just going to go in with some regular, regular aluminum foil. I'm going to place the aluminum foil down first and then place my frontal on top of it. And then I'm going to take a rat tail comb and I'm going to be just looking through the frontal just to make sure that no uh, bleach seeped through my frontal. And if it did, then just take a wet paper towel and just get it get it off you know that's as simple as that and now i'm just going to go ahead and cover the frontal i'm going to take another piece of aluminum foil and let it process i probably let this process for about 25 30 minutes um you want to just continue to keep checking on it just to make sure it's not over processing now to ensure that this is a successful bleaching knots tutorial you have to have the shimmer lights and also a neutralizing shampoo both of these shampoos are going to work wonders and it's not going to give you that brassy look and it's going to stop the bleaching process so it won't continue to bleach. Okay, so I'm just going to be washing the bleach all the way off the frontal and then I'm going to go in with the neutralizing shampoo so I can stop the bleaching process and just basically neutralize the frontal. And then once I do that, and oh, just to keep in mind, I did neutralize the, oh, I'm sorry, I did actually um, wash that frontal with the neutralizing shampoo twice and then I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, shimmer lights and I also did that twice as well. Now that the hair is squeaky clean, I am taking some Pantene conditioner and I'm just going to put that on many of times with my other weaves, but it is very perfect and you don't have to do much and it still like makes your hair turned out like it was like a professional did it, you know? But what I'm going to do is put the L'Oreal High Color in the mixing bowl and I'm going to put some developer. You kind of want to do this the same as you did the uh, powder, the bleaching powder. And with that, you want to make sure, you know, that you have a nice consistency. Um, I kind of like it a little bit runny, not too runny, because I want it to be, um, I just want it to apply all over the hair. Now, I know I think I showed you that I had five. I had to go back and buy like three more boxes because this hair, I mean, this color, um, it's not that much in there. It's, it's really not much. And I had to bleach three bundles and a frontal. So, yeah, I, it was, I had to purchase more. So make sure whenever you are buying this, if you do buy this, that you purchase enough for all of your bundles in frontal or closure or whatever. color on the bundles and I make sure that I get the inner the outer size um, and I just evenly distribute it with my comb um, just to make sure that I'm getting every strand as much as possible 
Um, I don't do much at all. And I do the same thing, the same process to my frontal. The only thing that I would say about the frontal is make sure that you're really, really careful with the color and that you do not get it on the lace because I find that it's impossible to get it off the lace if you happen to get color on the lace. Um, but yes, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. And you know, if you're a beginner like me, um, definitely use this. I promise you it will work. You can't go wrong because literally this was my first time doing the frontal. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I always enjoy you guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.